Yes, it's totally believable. You have a city while a bunch of refugees enter and cram the streets and poop on the sidewalks. Since we have no place to stay, totally believable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay. Let's check the journal. Find Gumblin a mill. Okay, so our, our mother's surname is a mill. The liberal of Flemeth. Okay. I will do that. No completed quests. Okay. Flemis. Oh yes, yes, the story of Flemis. Yes. But according to Morrigan, she's no abomination. So what is she? Is she an extra Tedestian <laughs> extra Tedestian entity? Or how do you call the world of this place? Thedas is a continent, isn't it? on both sides of the street, just as they said. Let's explore, I always like to explore first, you never Our know. Our ship has already left. How are we supposed to leave? You can swim! Can't you? Okay. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> well, that seems a little uh, excessive, doesn't it? Our mages imprisoned here. Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. Templar title. 
Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted, but he's sure never taken that chance. <laughs> Goodbye. Can we get? Okay. <laughs> Tell me who's your boss. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Ewald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. I saw something strange. That hooded man. Ah. Yes. Okay, you pretty silly. Let's see what the mother has to say. So this is where mother's from. Charming place. We need to find your uncle. With any luck, he's received my letter. Wesley would have been horrified to see this. And they would have been horrified to see him. He can't hold us! Tell me, how did your family escape Lothering? Almost everyone who hadn't fled. My older sister. If she wasn't with us, I don't think we'd be here. But you seem quite skilled as well. I'm not my sister. <laughs> now you have a dick. But you can no, become my sister. What did you do? Go back Starve. to Parole. Kirkwall isn't going to take you. <laughs> Are you a merchant? Can you take us with you? Okay, that's that's a pretty interesting welcoming committee. Go back. <laughs> okay, let's not go to the place that the arrow tells us to go. Oh, did I not tell you to keep the rabble out of here? There's only so much I can do, Monsieur. I don't control the gallows. Then what am I paying you for? So, I'm a scum. We will see. Just corral. We've no intention of keeping anyone here, Sarah. You're all going back to where you came from. My men and I fought against the flight. We're heroes. Deserted you. It doesn't matter. Kirkwall has no more room for anyone. Well, it looks like it has room. I look at the statues. Strange that no one has tried to conquer this place. I've already told you, I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. 
Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Ferelden's poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. Uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> she didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? You mean people like us? Of course. Uh, my apologies. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. I don't need anything. As you wish, Sirrah. Well, she sold it, didn't she? She had no choice, it's that. Or nothing. Um, there is always something better than nothing. And that is something. Look at this man. She's not begging. Okay. Let's talk to Captain. What you. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We'd pay good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. There's how much to get in. What would it take to make you change your mind? No foreigner can enter unless they can prove they have coin to bring into the city. You mean a bribe? Technically, the Viscounts ordered that no one enters. You want to be a special case? You have to be special. That's outrageous. It took all our coin just to get here. You want eyes looking the other way? That takes convincing. And the price goes up each day this continues. Okay. <laughs> Who decided that we should be giving bribes? Tell me who's in charge of this bloody mess. The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. We came here to speak to our uncle, Gamlin Amel. And we won't leave until we do. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about it. We've been here for four days. They just got here. That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men! Now we fight! Useless! Holy shit, why are they attacking me? <laughs> Did you see that arrow? A magical arrow. <laughs> I am injured or something like that. that. Does that exist in this game? I don't remember. No resistances. 
damage resistance, so she's using that thing. Okay. Go for the face! Watch this one! Shit! Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. He's in the horror house, more or less likely. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Hmm, this must be him now. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin, we came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it, and Drastic guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. You selfish bastard. There are other ways to get into a city. Sure. That worked real well for those soldiers we fought. I hate to agree, but there's a reason they housed us in an old prison. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But... what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's... um... gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. 
Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the Blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. We're not putting Mother through that. We came here. We're staying here. Why don't we leave Mother here and we go? Okay, sounds like fun working for scraps. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. I don't understand. <laughs> Let's see what she says. We cut down dozens of Darkspawn and an ogre to get here. That has to count for something. Unless you brought an ogre's head along on the boat, I doubt it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Okay, Carver. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. Okay, don't be with the mercenary. What kind of man is this Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing, or is he talking about prostitutes? <laughs> okay, Olga. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Simpler. Safe. The Chester's just laid through the gun's scourge, a ghastly memento of Kirkwood's history 1500 years ago. 1500 years ago? Okay. Kirkwood was a vendor of Burr Larry Square, filling the construction of Imperial Highway. The Imperial's Congress was partially like the legions of late forcing the world into quarry. When the bar construction phase ended, Kirkwood was lead natural into the new role as the capital of the slave trade, gallows and its hot. The statues of the monuments to the suffering of slaves. Every inch and angle of the court was designed by many spent on breaking the spirit of new commons executions here to place daily, sometimes hourly. <laughs> okay, mm. and corpses were hung from the giblets, from the jaw, and easily struggling from the dog, so what the way to them? Well, nothing like fear. To make people stay in line, the Emperor thought. Let's look at it. Is that the Magister? Okay. 
So, I think I'll go and talk to the mercenary. Where is him? Mercenary, there he is. Come, Len. Remember, it's Miran or Athenral you're looking for, either of them. Miran? And you must be Hawk. Nice. Your I uncle agree. talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense? All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. My uncle doesn't seem like the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallop match. You turn out, we'll call it even. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red 